train by yourself. It's really, it, the team is what makes you motivated. It's what gets you going. So having to run on the track by yourself basically just comes to running in circles over and over again. Whew. The thrill of competition. Like, there's nothing more that gets you is when you're coming up to a start line and there's hundreds of people watching, screaming on. You know you have hard competition to your left and to your right. And then, like, just before the gun goes, everything goes quiet, right? And then they go, and then as soon as it goes off, everyone just, an uproar happens goes on, right? Lots of people are cheering for you, ever, just surrounding you. My favorite moment in a race would be though that last kilometer where you know that everyone has already pushed themselves for so far and you're, you're rearing your breaking point and it really becomes a race of spirit, right? Who wants to win it and then who's been training well enough to have it, right? You got four or five people in this last kilometer who you know have been training just as hard as you have and now it's like, who really wants it? And then what you're willing, how far you're willing to push your body to win that medal. Yeah, people think different diets or different training plans will help you in one way or another. But really it's the person, it's just, who trains harder, right? If you're willing to put in the effort, you will show. There's not, there's no secret, secret path to success in running, right? It's just, do you want it? Okay, now put in the effort for it, and you will, you will succeed. You don't feel like you're gonna crash, I don't think you're going fast enough. It's fun. I meet new people when I come off the line. Uh, I don't know, I love being pushed to my limit. If I'm battling with someone, I might hit a jump that I've never hit before and might not have been able to do without that other person there. So. I look up at my dad. So, he got me when I was five. I went riding with him all the time. The injuries I've had in the past year, you know, they're brutal. It sucks being off the bike. Uh, to get those body parts healed again, it takes a lot of physiotherapy. Then you have to get back on the bike again, and it can be kind of scary. So.
always about training. There's no time for that stuff to do sometimes. Uh, but you do it because you love it. You never want to give up on that. <laughs>